understand if something is a fraudulent payment and stop it along the way. Hello and welcome back to the Bankers Masterclass series in association with Deutsche Bank looking at the new role of a correspondent banking provider. I'm Joy McKnight, Transaction Banking Editor, and I'm joined by Susan Skerritt, Global Head of Institutional Cash Management and Head of Global Transaction Banking Americas at Deutsche Bank. In Chapter 3 of this four-part masterclass series, we are taking a more in-depth look at SWIFT's Global Payments and Innovation Initiative, which has attracted more than 70 financial institutions in a collaboration effort to improve cross-border payments. Susan, thanks again for joining me. Um, so SWIFT's GPI initiative was launched in December 2015. Um, sort of what are the milestones that it's reached so far? Well, Joy, it's actually very exciting, I think, because in less than a year, um, we have seen real progress. So what, <clears throat> what we have done during this past year, um, and by the way, I, I'm very proud of the fact that Deutsche Bank was one of the original 10 banks, part of the vision group, to help with this definition. So in the first year, it's really been a proof of concept phase where we are um, laying out exactly what the, the SWIFT GPI initiative is and how it will actually be affected, and a real focus on the SLA, the service level agreement, and making sure that it's fit for purpose uh, going forward. Okay, but it also talks about this uh, sort of a cloud solution. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. The cloud solution is really the strategic element of uh, the SWIFT GPI initiative. So in the second phase, phase two, uh, which will be completed in 2017, the, um, the idea is that when a payment is initiated, the information will be sent to the cloud, and the cloud will retain that information, and it will be accessible to everyone along the path of the payment. So this, en this enables banks to have better information and their corporate clients to have better information in a more timely way. Okay. And really, what does the SWIFT GPI, what does it do, mm, you know, yeah. especially for clients and for uh, the, whether they're corporates or other financial institutions? So um, I, I think the real benefits of this are um, transparency, to understand where a payment is in the process and what the costs associated with the payment are, as well as providing detailed information about the payment. But it will go even further. Um, it's the opportunity for banks to address some of the significant challenges that we talked about in the first master class. And, and I'll give you two examples. One is richer payment data for their corporate clients. Corporate clients want to be able to reconcile their payments as quickly as possible. If they can get access to detailed remittance information early on, it's much better. The second example is issue with fraudulent payments and cybersecurity. The cloud solution could have analytical tools that would enable the um, GPI uh, initiative to analyze payments, understand if something is a fraudulent payment, and stop it along the way. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Um, so now, uh, for all the banks that are involved in the GPI initiative, mm -hmm. what are the next steps? Yeah. So we're just going into phase two, and phase two is when the cloud solution becomes real. So this, as I said, really is the strategic element of the solution and will enable the full delivery of the benefits that we've talked about. Okay, great. Thanks again for your insight, Susan. In the final chapter of the Bankers Masterclass series, Susan will provide her insights as to the future of correspondent banking.